It's turn 35 in this playthrough of Auburn Crown 0 0.4 and my allies are still on the defensive and that has to change if I have any hope of winning this game. I think I forgot to move these guys last turn and that is going to be the death of them. They're sitting out there by themselves off the coast of Potentia and um, sadly meet their demise as they are surrounded by what seems to be a very large armada of adversary ships. Fortunately, perhaps it is muddy in Angford. And the defenders of uh, that small town, Consolas, are um, about to meet their demise. That will open up my right flank to, uh, to attack, as well as losing the resource, of course. Of course. And um, it, uh, it, it spells even more trouble. Now, I've said this a number of times in each turn, so I'm not going to labor the point here. You can see what's happening. So in the west of Gwartenheim, my forces, or at least my special forces, have now got magic, which is good. Uh, it does have an effect for the veteran units as well. They uh, demoralize the, uh, at their, the targets of their attacks more. But I still need to get into position ready for an attack. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing this turn. And hopefully next turn I'll get to use those, those special units a bit of a look at what's going on there. Oh, no, I'm going to use them now against those giants. So they do quite a bit of damage and my elites are going to come in now and hopefully finish them off. Let's see. No, no. I'm going to, have to need, they're going to need another attack. Oh, well, that looks like to me that uh, elite unit sitting there on the river will... Um, to meet its end on the river. I'm very impetuous when it comes to attacking. I should really have spent a bit more time in defending and I, I quite often do that and regret it later. Anyway, Gwartenheim does need to be dealt with. They can't last for too much longer, hopefully. Meanwhile, in the Viking Channel, uh, I'm still preparing to attack against the Vikings by land with those new units for Angford, uh, Angnord and I have level 2 of, um, or have soon have level 2 um, of sea fighting but that gives me volley that uh, that unit just got then and I am still okay Still wondering what to do about these guys here, but since there's somebody, uh, a unit very close by that can be attacked, I'll, uh, I'll take it out, take the chance. Mud again in Angford, so that helps me. Um, I continue to build up my, my defences there. I haven't actually done anything much with Daneverk yet. Uh, I'm still kind of waiting for the land battles to uh, be worked out or the results to be worked out so that I can start building up a navy. So their, their navy will come in very handy for me. My opponent has offered to um, allow Libeslavia to go for a thousand gold pieces. <laughs> 
um, and I reply that they're quite unreasonable so they've rejected your offer um, truth being of course in the game there's no option to do that but uh, yeah I'm not sure they would anyway I don't think they would trust Potentia to come through on any promise given their uh, history together So in this turn there has been a lot of uh, upgrading, moving things around, reinforcing, but uh, not a lot of combat. So we're seeing a bit of movement with the diplomatic scene, which is good. Hopefully those allies will, will join me soon. Magic for the Ancients will... I don't know. <laughs> There's not much time left for them. Anyway, that's the balance sheet, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.